I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Sober up, sir. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. The light is very bright. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park. One point. The light is very bright. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. That doesn't seem to work. It is a rock. There, I have completed step three of the note. Now for step... It is the key card for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn... So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. 
Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. I can't use the film in that. Sure, I'll carry your crap. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. <laughs> Sounds like someone in the sewer is playing the violin. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall.
That old tree is blocking the great entrance. No thanks. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. The cell phone has no reception. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must... It's a trail down to the railroad trestle. Is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup, though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, the signals are very strong tonight. Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. The signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. <laughs> but it really pays off in the end. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Beep. Beep. Boop. It's a, plum it's a plumbing van driven by big... No need. The perps are outside. No need. The perps are outside. Beep. Click, 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 click.
Flowers left over from a funeral. A flower from the cemetery. The heavy wrought iron gate is closed. I see a switch inside. I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. It doesn't budge. The iron gate is way too heavy to move. It doesn't budge. The iron gate is way too heavy to move. But I see a I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. No thanks. Ball Blaster from Mucus Phlegm Games. Never heard of it. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. soda bottle five cent deposit in Michigan Hawaii California Arkansas Idaho Wisconsin Nevada Georgia Virginia Connecticut Vermont Maryland Kansas North Carolina Texas Montana Tennessee South Dakota District of Columbia Florida South Carolina Washington Arizona Montana New Jersey Utah Delaware Kentucky Maine Ohio Mississippi Illinois North Dakota Nebraska Arkansas, Colorado, Louisiana, New York, New Mexico, Missouri, West Virginia, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Iowa, Wyoming, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, Oregon, Indiana, Alabama, and Michigan. Wait for me. More like Thimble Stupid. Thimbleweed Park. Nice name for a town. It says Main Street. It says Main Street. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We, I can't open that. Howdy, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> know any place that serves good pie? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Botulism. Know any place that serves good meatloaf? 
Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Ooh, E. coli. Know any place that serves good hamburgers? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Plague. I'm Agent Ray, and this is, um, my partner. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people of Reno's? The inscription says, Pillotronics, the brain of our city. Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. Ooh, I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who? Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match of who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Gorg, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arena? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk a who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual, and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? 
Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now. Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. I don't want to pick that up. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. I don't want to pick... Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. I don't want to pick that up. Lots of medical books there. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals, plus a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape. The Fingertron 3000 will check if they match and print out a report. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. What else do you know about the Pillow Factory fire 20 years ago? The horrible fire that killed everyone at the factory. After a lengthy investigation and corroborated to Reno by our computers, it was determined the fire was caused by a security guard. Couldn't the fire have been started by faulty equipment? The faulty Reno equipment theory was debunked by our computers. Ironclad Reno evidence pointed to the security guard, who was uh, also killed in the fire. The case was closed, and blame squarely and fairly put on the guard of Reno. You, I mean, the coroner, said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Reno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. 
This is the big bad boy arena you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Arena valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Arena. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Arena. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Insert three reports from the Bloodtron 3000, Fingertron 3... Th Just a bunch of... There's a fingerprint book here. This has fingerprints for ev... Just a bunch of files. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Breaker 1-9. Breaker. Breaker. <sighs> Daisy. Daisy. Give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy. All for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. I can't open that. It doesn't have any buttons. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. Chuck Edmund is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Wanted, Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Wanted, huh? A meteor? Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. I'll just take the wrench. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals.
It says, after 34 years of serving the Tri-Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead-end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. It says, we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely for savings manager, Mr. El Polo. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. She's too far away. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. It's locked. Pretty disgusting. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I don't want to pick that up. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. Thimblecon. Welcome to the S and D diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds, you can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. What? You think this? I'm not ready for my fans. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup or nose. Where the f is my nose? It's my lawyer's business card. What the hell is this? The number of fish swimming in Carney Joe's shooting gallery times four. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the f clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face.
It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Very cozy. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! Go yourself. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big... I don't want to pick that up. Try your skill. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the seven kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that scare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have seven kids. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. F you, I'm out of here. No waiting. Take a shot. Shoot the birdie. Grand I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Grandson, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! Hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. I'll get you, Grandson the Clown! Grandson, you jerk! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! I can't get up! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! Ransom, you're a total... I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! Ransom, you jerk! I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! It's the list of all the who swore here at the circus. I'm the only who can swear. All the rest have to pay up. Not just take the big bucks. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. There's nothing in it except the list. I don't wear hats. Ooh, 
my cloud fro looks great now. Now there's the face I love. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. My hair and makeup are perfect, but without my red cloud nose, I look just like a mime. Where the f is my nose? Shoot the pussy cat. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. With the grand you owe me. Yeah, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Try your skill. Hey, guaranteed to hit some. It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. Hmm. The number of fish swimming in Carney Joe's shooting gallery times four. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Hmm. The number of fish swimming in Carney Joe's shooting gallery times four. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Shoot the birdie! Step right this way! Just shoot like a man or a little girl. Lots of prizes. Yeah, shoot the pussycat. Step right this way. Hmm. The number of fish swimming in Carney Joe's shooting gallery times four. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Shoot the boy. Hmm. The number of fish swimming in Carney Joe's shooting gallery times four. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Hey, take a shot at the target. You got my money, Ransom the Ass White Clown? I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. No waiting, take a shot. Hey, it's not my job to push popcorn. Hey, it's not my job to push. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. I don't I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. It's my lumpy circus poster. I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I... He's happy where he is, aren't you, little... It's a prototype ransom to climb... Thank you. 
I don't want to pick that up. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick, JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. I think my steels are broken. Ransom, you jerk. I'll get you, Ransom the Clown. I can't get up. I can't get up. I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. Pfft. It's the list of all the who swore here at the circus. I, I don't want to pick that up. It's fine where it is. I look marvelous. Ready to knock them dead. I can't push that. I can't pull that. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. Nothing's inside. I've checked. Move along, move along. It's it's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. We got prizes. Lots of prizes. You got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? Give me my joke book, face. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the asswipe clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. You wanna... No waiting. I'll get you, Ransom the clown. State-of-the-art Zaptron 3000. It's pouring out water. Empty, but clean. Fridge assistant hasn't replenished my supply. No time for a cold one anyway. No time for food. I have to get... That doesn't seem to work. Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay, now. And finally... top da Next time, I'm setting it to one, two, three. It's exactly $1,138. I'll steal your clown nose again, that's what I'll do! <laughs> Just shoot like a man or a little girl. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now, scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Win a fine... It's my joke book. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the jokes. 
No waiting. I can't walk in through the main entrance like. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris is the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Blink twice, you want me to get help? Hey you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously kid, you're in a wheelchair and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown. And even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever. I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this makeup isn't coming off. What the You up the you come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Ah, 
delicious. I can't wait to eat one. Hmm, I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. <sighs> I feel better now. I don't want to pick that up. An old cash register. I don't think they'd like that. It's turned off. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Ever notice that 60 cycle hum whenever you pick up a phone? It's an alien invasion, I tell you. Aliens are trying to make us stupid. Don't talk on the phone and you won't become an idiot. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. No way am I going to eat another one of those. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. It's already slightly open. I'm not going to open it anymore. Way too smelly for me. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. where we can talk. Alrighty now. Um, based on your sign, I was kind of expecting this place to be a bakery. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Sounds like an interesting turn of events. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Reyes. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two-base technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure, but it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. Glad I could help. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction.
Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here, over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Oh, yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. Hmm. I haven't seen Agent Ray for a while. Wonder what happened to her. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. It's a WC67 tube. It's out of order. It's out of order. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue. It's out of order. I can't reach that. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. All fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. It's my speck of dust. I'm feeling some concern for Agent Ray. I can't open that. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. The cell phone has no reception. An arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm, hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. Looks like this valve has been welded into position forever. I can't turn it. The only thing I'd get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. It's my speck of dust. I 
I can't budge it. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. It needs a dime to work. That doesn't seem to work. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up, not down. An empty coin return slot. This valve has also been welded into position. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. That grate won't come off. The cell phone has no reception. An arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm. Hard to tell. Is made of plastic. No murder here. Is made of plastic. No murder here. No thanks. I don't want to pick that up. I can't budge it. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this. Hot dogs, burgers, salad, pies, fine hacks. Uh, that's about it. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Page and Brothers Plumbing. Electrical and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. The doors are locked and nobody's inside.
No one is in there. There's no there's no path beyond this point. It just if by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. I can't open that. That ransom the clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Pirate? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie, hot from the oven. It's so good, it'll... It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Ada, you're my role model. Too bad you don't program games, though. Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Someday we'll have one for real. 
It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday they'll do a TV show. Albert's my hero. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. You're a rebel, Billy. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. Carefully handling broken glass? If this were a Sierra online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay? Sure would like to work there. I don't want to pick that up. There's nothing inside. 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 The glass is now filled with water. There's nothing. There's nothing inside. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here. I don't want to open it. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Digging. 
It's our special Mailtron 3000 mailbox. It's in here pretty tight. I'd need an LFG1982 tube puller. I can't I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Digging in the front green with my rusty. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many room local variables are there? Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Feel free to study up and take it again. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday they'll do a TV show. These are part of my action figure collection. Just have to keep going. Where am I? Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. 
Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it. No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many... It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1.
It says out of order. It says out of order. The sign says it's out of order. The sign says it's out of order. <sighs> Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence. And stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Chucky has been sitting here forever. I don't want to move him now. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at... This is depressing. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service. Ja, bitte ist nur noch Mu. Danke. Mu. Hi folks, right now I'm not available, I'm visiting uh, my cousin in um, you know, some kind of island in the Caribbean, uh, please do... somewhere troubling my poor parents or something like that please go back
Hallo, hier ist der Anrufbeantworter von Thorsten. Ich löse gerade die genialen Rätsel in diesem Spiel und kann daher leider nicht ans Telefon gehen. Hi, this is Teddy Haybuck. I have no interest in talking to you, so if you leave a message, I won't call you back. This is Sung Jun Lee. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you shortly. Or if I don't, I guess I didn't feel like talking to you. Thanks. You have now arrived at Sigun Tilili Yamen Lal Hashtras answering machine powered by FME server. I'm currently having a joint webinar with Don and Dale and we'll get back to you right after that. For sales questions, please send me an email. Hi, you've reached Sarah. Don't leave a message. I'll find you.
This is Mario Faros. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't know where he is. We cannot come to the phone now, because we're too young. Till that end, I guess. Love, love you. Bye-bye. Why not plush toys? I know I have a good idea.
No one will miss this out of order. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many room local variables are there? Next question, when a game ships, it is encrypted using Next question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Tom. These are in mint condition. No way I'm going to touch them. It's in here pretty tight. I'd need an LFG 198. These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Just get some polycyclic hydrocarbons along with methyl ethyl ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Hello, my favorite niece. How do I make printer ink? Printer ink is a scam. Make your own, like I showed you. And if you really want to do it cheaply, just get some ash and gasoline and mix well. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck.
The ink bottle is now mostly full with gas. I'm not going to drink from something without reading the label. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. There, the blank paper is back in the print truck. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck... It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. There's nothing inside. Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. There are a couple of old batteries. I think I see mold growing on one. That hit the spot. Ugh, I'm definitely not hungry for soggy lettuce.
doesn't seem to work. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the Pillow Factory and restore the family heritage. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope is ripped. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too no- Doug, what are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. That will just make the letter soggy. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Digging? I can't reach that. It's a couple of uncancelled stamps. Still sticky. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. Diggin! How exciting. I hope I get the job. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Diggin'? Diggin'. I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Mm, now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores, you can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the Pillow Factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad, stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck? Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first...
I can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck about my job offer. He'll be so proud. It says, out of order. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks good. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. Definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will, of course, refrain from perusing its contents. Agent Protocol. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. It's locked. Pretty disgusting. The bar's out of business. Hmm, huh, too bad. A root beer would have been nice. Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Headline act, Ransom the Insult Clown. Minors must be accompanied by an adult, and if you're offended, it's your own beeping fault. 
Your sheriff wants you to be clean and greenerino. Don't litter on the highway or vandalize the storefronts. You should also wear better clothes. Paid for by the Lenore Edmund Mulch Beautification of Thimbleweed Park Project. Roses are red, pillows are white. Get our special bond safely first savings. Where saving safely is saving smartly. Please note that homeless people and tentacle creatures are not eligible for small business loans. I don't want to open it. I don't want to open it. It's a color Copytron 3000. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Clark Kent? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the Seventeenth Amendment? No. That establishes the direct election of the United States Senators by popular vote. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. Don't you mean the Fourth Amendment? No. That prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures and sets out requirements for search warrants based on probable cause. Don't you mean the Twenty-Fifth Amendment? Nope. That addresses succession to the presidency and establishes procedures for filling a vacancy in the office of the vice president. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odorino. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Agni intervention? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. 
That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Keep going! The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the pillow factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence, and I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. Don't you mean the 26th Amendment? Nope. That prohibits the denial of the right of U.S. citizens 18 years of age or older to vote on account of age. Don't you mean the 23rd Amendment? Nope. That grants the District of Columbia electors in the Electoral College. Don't you mean the 11th Amendment? No, that makes states immune from suits from out-of-state citizens and foreigners not living within the state borders and lays the foundation for sovereign immunity. Don't you mean the 7th Amendment? Nope, that provides for the right to trial by jury in certain civil cases, according to common law. Don't you mean the 13th Amendment? No, that abolishes slavery and involuntary servitude, except as punishment for a crime. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Thimbleweed Nickel, established 19... Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman in town throwing something on the ground. Kutenberg would be proud. Kutenberg would be proud. It's a map of the tri thimbleweed Park County area. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. Playtime is over at the Park Arcade. Blast bad guys in a tournament of our latest game, Die, Enemy, Die. Highest scorer gets free tokens all night. Wanted. Boost donations. Help out old Willie with a contribution straight to his liver. <laughs> Come find me by the burning trash can near Occult Books. All boarded up, and I can't see anything. I don't know why. Laser discs are the future. All boarded up, and I can't see anything. I don't know why. All boarded up, and I can't see anything. I don't know why. Laser discs are the future. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. Yeah, I'm pretty swamped right now. How can I help? Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> good one. Tell me a good postal joke. What did the mailman say to the customer who asked if he could ship a donkey in the mail?
They told her they'd haul ass and find out. <laughs> Another good one. Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Who is all this mail addressed to? I can't tell you. It would be a federal crime. Or is this some sort of sting to catch crooked mail clerks? Because I keep things ship shape here in the Thimbleweed Branch, so there's no need to worry about us here. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. I can't open that. That tape is for official government business only. But since you're a fed, just go easy. We're almost out of it. I don't want to pick that up. No, they're fine. They're boxes waiting to be shipped or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. I used to have a dime, but I, I dropped it. I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. I can see something is in your pocket. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It's in plain sight. I don't even need a warrant to just take it. It's mine. Finders keepers. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um, well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. 
We'll play it your way. For now. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. Tell me what you know about Chuck. Ah, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Why did Chuck try to ruin you? I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronic Playboy? We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Have you seen my dog? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. This has got to be a fire hazard. Looks like they're having a big sale in there. It says, Occult Books. The future is never written. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. Not getting any closer to that. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. This head seems almost alive. I think I saw it move. Ugh, pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Seb the Navigator's Head. Ugh, creepy. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or... or, uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Reyes. I'm just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Great! So, you know who was involved in the murder? Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I don't want to break agent protocol, but we really need a lead in this case. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? If you can get me an Agaricus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. Those don't sound legal. And your point is... What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flim-flams? You come to me. Fascinating. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. 
So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. Did you hex ransom the clown? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating, ma'am. You want a taste of my karma bat, Agent Reyes? Hello? No, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Tell me about yourself, Madam Morina. There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into the occult? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. I thought it was a serious spiritual practice. I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls. And with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm going to retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. Why did you set up shop here? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy, which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. I can't re I can't reach I can't I can't I can't I can't reach that. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Oh, creepy. Ugh, pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Seb the Navigator's Head. I used to have a dime, but I, I dropped it. Damn hole in my pocket, always losing money. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. I can't open that. I'm not sure why, but okay. Seems like a waste of a good dime.
It needs a dime to work. Help! I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone. Thanks. I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected Reno it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Bad news, Sheriff. There are no Donut Arenos down here. This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office Areno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Yeah, I'll run that up the home office Areno flagpole. In the meantime, can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. No, oh, I will need to blindfold you. Nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. Thanks. I hope you kept your eyeballs off it. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not Holden, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it.
Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody, and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. Offense taken. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and, uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the quickie pal for one. I need you to hand over the security tape. Oh, no can do, broski. We only have one Betamax tape here at the Quickie Pal, and the boss man would freak if I gave it away. If I lose it, my ass is grass. Why do you have a Betamax player? We have one sweet, cutting-edge Betamax player here. We don't want to be stuck with a piece of obsolete technology when VHS bites the big one. Gotta invest in the superior tech, dude. I'm going to look around your store. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. There's a picture of a clown with a lot of hair. I'm here. It's an I'm sorry you were cut out of the inheritance card. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. I personally am really fond of the chocolate bonbons. It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like beep card. Jeez. It's an I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. That's sweet. Wanna buy it's an I'm sorry your hamster died card. I'm not big on keeping rodents as pets. Looks like a sorry lot of cards. Do you it's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. Uh, no thanks. Sure are a lot of them though. Guess no one's really sorry about this. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Let me know if I can help you find anything. How can I help you? Do you sell this brand of whiskey? Let me see. Yes, that looks like Willie's brand. Why? Is he in trouble? 
Does anyone else drink this brand of whiskey? Actually, no. He's the only one who can stand it. Do you know my cousin Bernie? Ball Blaster from Mucus Phlegm Games. Never heard of it. I'm here to serve. Better leave it be. That doesn't seem to work. Let me know if I can help you with anything. I'd better hold on to this until later. I'm here to serve. Don't touch the camera. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killerino on the loose. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes, and not just any map, but an official map. And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? Not a chance. The feds never give up. Or should I say, the Fed-arenos never give up. I see. Now you're mocking me. Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Well, uh, you got me there. Oh, those donuts aren't gonna eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official map. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town and find a map. Ooh, donuts do sound good. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like in there. No way am I gonna look in there. I can smell it from here. I look good. Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me show you how you do it. Hello? Is this the sheriff again? Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me show you how you do it. Hello? Is this the sheriff again? Hello? Hello?
Ugh. They're all used up. Pretty disgusting. This suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. There's no wallet in his pockets, but we found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. I know it's beautiful, but you can't remove it. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a Fed. Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope, it's a priceless original. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? <sighs> you? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This pillow factory fire story is my ticket out of here. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. You got any, uh, second-hand crystals? You got any loose change? Loose change? Buy me some... Thank you. Thimbleweed Park guided tours? I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum.
You really want to play this game? <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. Look, just hand the wallet over. It's mine, finders keepers. Hand over the damn wallet. Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't know. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I could legally beat you senseless for the wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Have you seen my dime? Cast your lot before it's too late. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. It looks pretty ratty. And I do mean ratty. No way I'm touching that. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. I can't, I can't, I, 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 I can't reach that. Don't touch, don't, 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 don't touch the books unless you know what you want. It says occult books. Buy me a drink? The bar's out of business. Could have used a stiff... We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this... I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. I feel better now. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? No, thanks. Sure, isn't this kind of how rude? No thanks. I don't believe in birthdays. I don't know, and I don't want to pick that up. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little doodat. Sorry, little doodat. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps.
Just a bunch of files. Attention all units. Just a, just a, just a bunch of files. Attention all units. What is that creepy violin music? I have no idea. It comes through the plumbing. Okay, back to sleep -a Lots of medical books there. I need to stay... The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. There's, 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 there's no path beyond this point. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. No one is in there. I can't open that. No one is in there. All circuits are busy. Please try again later. Hello, you've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal-related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later.
Safely first savings. This is Mr. El Palo. I'm away right now. Please call back later. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Razor and the scumettes playing live at the Hitchin Post. Support by GT and the suction cups. Mechanical bull rides free all night. Safely first savings, where saving safely is saving smartly. Please note that homeless people and tentacle creatures are not a key ceremony at City Hall. Come and watch beloved entrepreneur Reno Chuck Edmond receive the key to the town for his wanted booze donations. Help out old Willie with a contribution straight to his liver. Come find me by the burning trash can near Occult Books. Loose change? Put it in there. It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi! Welcome to Ricky's YouTube! Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> and super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose! I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. Your new sign looks good. Oh, yeah. I was just super grateful you feds came and helped me out with that. I was really stuck on picking a name. You city folk sure are slick with your wordplay and your machine washable suits. <laughs> Why were you having such a hard time with the name? Well, I'm not the most creative person. I mean, my bakery was called Ricky's Cakes, after all. I was trying to be clever with my new brand, but I'm no marketing hotshot. That's for darn sure. Whoa. How did you get the sign painted so fast? I just called the Pigeon Brother Sisters. I thought they were plumbers. Oh, no. They do all sorts of jobs like painting, electrical, paranormal investigations. You know, that kind of thing. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. Electrical and paranormal investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Nah, must be a better use for it. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. I can't open that. It's out of order. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. 
Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. It's A Street. It's A. Can I help you? Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Uh, we have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. And second, that's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the Quickie Pal. What do you know about the Pillow Factory fire? I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena, if you know what I mean. I've tried to gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. Can I, as a private citizen, please have your map? Nope. It's a priceless original. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman in town throwing something on the ground. Attention, all units. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman in town throwing something on the ground. I can't open that. Attention, all units. Breaker, one nine, breaker, breaker. Is this thing on? <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. Attention, all units!
Wanted. Huh? A meteor? Wanted. Shady Jane and Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Attention, all units! Attention, all units! It's a color copy Tron 3000. I can't push that. I can't pull that. Color copy Tron 3000. For all your copying needs. Copies, five cents each. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman in town throwing something on the ground. It's a postal scale. It says, for government use only, violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Attention, all units! Attention, all units! It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I sure hope no one tries to touch my map while I'm away. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman by the diner with a suspicious animal. Attention, all units. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Don't you touch my map.
The Copytron takes nickels. Hello. Just leaving? I assume that map under your jacket is to protect it from the weather. Um... Please return it to its frame. Thank you. Well, that last story was a bust. Maybe the next one will be better. You got any loose change? Hello again. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks. And there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? You got any ransom swag? Interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with an old cash register Strange I don't think they'd like that. I don't think they'd like that. I don't think they'd like that And now back to our special hostile takeover song that doesn't seem to close Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? That doesn't seem to work. I'd play if it were a sure thing. I can't open that. How can I help you? Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you have any maps of the county? Oh, sorry, Dudat. We're all out of them. Sheriff Areno came by and nabbed them all. <laughs> Didn't even pay for them. Uncool. Way uncool, man. I'm going to look around your store. I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> Just kidding. Quickie pal humor. Here you go. Can I help you? Nice chatting. Got him. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a man on the road with a suspicious animal. Attention, all units.
It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Don't you touch my map. What a nice copy, and in color, too. I don't want to pick that up. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Like I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. I have an official map right here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks uh, legit of Reno. Hmm. Odd. I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the quickie pal. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean... We can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? <laughs> We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? We need a fingerprint match. Using the finger tron with a fingerprint from the murder weapon and an official fingerprint book. We need a blood match using the blood tron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet.
We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Let's get cracking. <laughs> 